The spirit climb in the Kutum keeps the area cloaked in a perpetual golden sunset. Oh, that sounds so romantic. Dark spaces always get me a little spooked. To us straight, Doc. How's Mila doing? I understand this Asperixis device is quite advanced, but I can't imagine it could have healed such a grievous wound in so little time. When I first applied the Asperixis, it caused such intense pain that she passed out. But now that she's more used to it, she can tolerate it, as long as she doesn't exert herself. Doesn't sound like she's ready for any kind of battle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't give you such a hard time. It's not like Mila would let a little pain slow her down, right? Thank you for the explanation. We'll take the lead for a while, and give Mila time to rest. As long as I'm on the battlefield, I'm sure we'll get by. Thanks, guys. When I see a sunset like this, I can't help but think of home. never traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. In Rashagal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Ajul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. Expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes, it was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. 
Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik, too. The real question, then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey, does that mean you can also use Spyrex to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster, someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Rizemaxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything, from a tiny street light to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy, and that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four. And anyone can use that power to kill others. Just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth Spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashigol army through Earth Spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs, but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Hey, Mila? Are you really Maxwell? I am. Had I not mentioned that yet? Ah, she isn't human! Run away! Having seen the strength of Mila's resolve, I have no trouble believing that to be true. So how come you look so normal? I have taken physical form by using the elements within a human body as a catalyst. It has proven to be an irksome vessel with many limitations. So Mila is Maxwell in a human body. Well, it doesn't change who she is, right? Let's leave it at that. It's still a little scary. But haven't you always known Mila to be scary when she's angry about something? I guess that's true. Are they afraid of me? Or is that a sign of respect? Well, I suppose either will do. It's a pain, but I better try to bang out a letter. Let's see. Look, Alvin's writing another letter. My dearest, now that the interseasonals have blown their last, and the spirit climb has settled, my thoughts stray to you and your well-being. He's so formal. He's got to be writing to a woman. That reminds me, Jude. How come you didn't answer any of the letters I sent to you in Fenmont? I didn't know what I was supposed to say. You only ever talked about yourself. Also, your penmanship could use some work. I can't believe you! You blow me off and still have the nerve to complain! But I could barely even decipher them. You yank the pen so hard it tears the paper. Well, maybe I'll just copy you. Your cutesy little bubble letters are straight from a little girl's diary. What? Guys aren't allowed to write neatly? That's sexist. I'm not being sexist! 
sexist. That's exactly how it looks. Then you've proven my point. You are sexist. <laughs> I'll never run out of things to write about with these people around. Hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? Oh, that's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude. But I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have Gnome send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up, but I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead, show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be moving on then. Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah, no more coddling. Got it! Are you ladies feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope, don't care one bit. Stay on guard. The enemy could be all around us. Yes, ma'am. How about we take a break? Would anyone care for tea? This is hardly the time for tea. Whatever do you mean? Here, I've steeped some of my finest blend. Hmm. Well, a moment's rest then. But stay vigilant. This 
This is good! It tastes like sunshine! It's wonderful. Not just the flavor, but the aroma, too. It's my own special mix. The aroma comes from dried fruit peels. That's peculiar. After just one cup, I feel completely energized. I'm better than ever! Such is the magic of good tea and idle conversation. handmade. Now that your legs have healed, you must return to the village at once. Please, if something else were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do. I cannot return yet. I have business in Fenmont. In that case, allow me to accompany you. That won't be necessary. I have all the help I need. From these people? These people, Jude and Leia here, helped me walk again. They can be trusted. Jude again? Uh, I'm Leia. Nice to meet you. He's got some issues, huh? You must feel pretty pleased with yourself now that Lady Mila is on her feet again. Well, I did promise I would help her walk again. And here she is walking. How dare you take credit for this miracle! It was all due to Lady Mila's divine power! It must have been! Maxwell, curse you! I was the one who was supposed to heal her! Uh, sorry? That's right. Beg for your forgiveness, you phony! Atone for your blasphemy! What is he talking about? It would seem Jude keeps the most eccentric company. All of his acquaintances are so... unique. Ivor, I gave you an important mission. Why are you here? I've not forgotten about the defense of the village. And the item you entrusted to me is safe. I have it hidden in a place known to no other. However, I recently received this. Maxwell is in grave danger. You must rescue her at once. I rushed forth immediately. I only just now caught up with you, Lady Mila. Who could have written something like this? I wonder. But in any case, it's mistaken. As you can see, I'm perfectly fu- Ivor, run! Timid? 
I thought you said the monster would be a pussycat now that it's solemn and Renome is here. That should be the case. Unless... With the four great spirits missing, the spirit climbs have essentially stopped shifting. Great. How will we cross Fezabel Marsh to get to Fenmont? Yeah. Cross Fezabel Marsh? <laughs> you people are out of your minds! Only a wyvern could reach Fenmont at this point! Fortunately, it just so happens that I, the redoubtable handmaid, can be of assistance to Lady Mila. You know a way to get there? I have in my possession a wyvern, faithful only to me. I would be happy to transport Lady Mila to Fenmont. Ivor, is there any other way? Huh? Uh, well, uh... There is, isn't there? Tell me. I have heard of a clan in Shandu that can control monsters. They raise wyverns there, apparently. I guess that's our next stop. Onward to Shandu. Ivor, thank you. Ivor? Uh, shall we go? Yeah. You lying phony fraud! That's the bird that delivered the letter! You dirty bird! When Mila saves the four great spirits, she will need the key in your possession. This will be your chance to beat Jude once and for all. Wait until I contact you again. Then you will free the four great spirits and become Lady Mila's true champion. <laughs> you won't get the upper hand this time, phony! That Ivor guy is something else, huh? Apparently, he's Mila's handmaid. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised at her unusual taste in friends. They don't get much weirder than that. <laughs> You're one to talk, Tipo. He scared me. He was so mad at Jude. Well, he does attract the weird ones. <laughs> You're one to talk, Leah. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Sounds like Ivor found some useful information. I hadn't heard about these wyverns before. Wyverns are a special breed of flying monster native to a remote region of Ajul. They're quite intelligent, but very rare. And only those who have mastered a special art can train them. Is it really safe to ride one? That depends. I've heard that if a naughty child tries to ride, the wyvern will gobble her right up. Is that true? Don't worry, Ellie's a good kid. Yeah, she'll be fine. But what about you? Hmm. It would be a shame to see Tipo get eaten. That can't be good for a wyvern's stomach. Huh? No! You can't let it eat me! It's okay! You're a good kid, too! <laughs> well, he's a gullible one. I can tell you that much. Well, we've certainly logged a good amount of real-world combat experience. Indeed. I feel that I fully understand the fundamentals. The trick seems to be viewing the blade as an extension of my body and swinging it intuitively. That's not one of the fundamentals. That's the final stage of mastery. Oh, is it? Well, I still get frightened every time I fight. You should use that fear to fuel your punches. I do. After all, it's either them or me. If you've taken that lesson to heart, then you're a true warrior in my book. Honestly, I don't know which one of you scares me more.
This is Xi'an Du. Seems like a tough place to build a city. Clans have warred against each other in Azul since ancient times. Such constant conflict has led people to build cities where they can, even in places such as this. The city seems especially lively. Are they having some kind of festival? You. These statues represent a fusion of international spirit faith and the local tradition of ancestor worship. Or so I've read. Huh. Yep, keep your noggin pointed in that general direction. Hmm? Don't look at me. Look up! This town is infamous for falling rocks. What? Don't scare me like that! You speak as though you know the area. Been here before. Business trip. What's wrong? Hey, this place is familiar, ain't it, Ellie? Yes, it is. Um, I think we were taken here on our way to Hamil. Did you once live in this area? I don't know. What, huh? Where are you headed off to? Duty calls. I'll see you all in a bit. <laughs> You're not much of a team player. You okay with this? Leave him be. I know he'll be back. Let's look for those wyverns. Are you hurt? I'm fine. I'm not fine! I'm not fine at all! Miss Leia, please wake up. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll have you fixed right up. Rowan, you're hurt. I'm so sorry. Never fear. It is merely a flesh wound. You just worry about yourself. I'm a doctor. Let me help. Easy does it. Thanks so much, Miss, uh... The name's Isla. You're gonna be fine. Take it easy, Leah. You should sit down for a while. Hmm? That's... Thanks so much, Isla. That was really kind of you. Yeah, that was very nice of you to help. Not at all. That's my job. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? We're searching for wyverns. We heard we might be able to find some here. Wyverns, huh? In that case, you should head across the river. You'll find some big ones in cages over there. Go and see for yourself. That's great news! Thank you for everything, Isla. <laughs> 
I'm just glad I could help. Well, I've got to run. Take care of yourselves. Bye now. Goodbye, and thanks again! Human lives are short. That must be why they strive to preserve themselves as statues. I wonder how many statues are in Shandu? Let's make a pop quiz out of it. Hmm, won't be much of a quiz if no one knows the right answer. Oh, then why don't I quiz you about the statues themselves? Like, Jude, name this famous figure. No good? Sure, why not? Let's go check them out. So there are just rock slides from time to time? This is a really dangerous city. And yet the cliff looks stable in the area around the statues. We have to be careful here. I'll keep looking up while I walk. Ah! Careful now. You still have to look where you're going. An abundance of caution can be as dangerous as a shortfall. Right. Got it. A bum dance often can be as dangerous as a shortfall. Were you even listening? Runs a hotel, right? Yep, the finest in Lorand. Mm hmm. I don't believe we saw more than a single hotel in our entire time there. That's false advertising. It is not. It's perfectly factual. Well, having a high-spirited girl like you behind the counter can't be bad for business. Got that right. In fact, I'm putting together a new package to pull in the tourists. Oh, what is it? First. My mom will pound out their tension points with one of her chiropractic bow staff massages. That sounds painful. Then, a complimentary bowl of Dad's famous Hammerzam stew. Hammerzam? Aren't those the monsters in the mines? It's a great deal, and I'll even give you guys the off-season discount. Ah, that sounds lovely, but I'll have to respectfully decline. Me too. Excuse me? Did you drop something, ma'am? Hmm? Or are you up to no good? Oh, of course not. I was just researching the man behind this statue, Master Hemming. I'm a historian, at least when I'm not teaching. The name's Carla, Carla Outway. Jude Mathis. Tipo, two E's, one P, get it right. And what's your name? Uh, Elise, nice to meet you. Oh. You know, some of the children I teach are right around your age. And how old are you? Twelve. Twelve, huh? I know. Why don't we have a little pop quiz? Think you can pass? A uh, quiz? Okay. There's an arena here in Shandu where all the different tribes compete. Do you know who holds the record as the youngest champion ever? The youngest champion ever? Uh... Who gives a quiz before teaching a lesson? She can't answer if she doesn't... Oh, wait. Elise, look! Master Hemming! 
Correct. Good job. Waha! I'm the quiz master! Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm running late. I hope to see you later. Here. What are you so afraid of? Isn't this your own house? Shh! I left without telling my parents goodbye. If they see me, they're gonna be furious. You got that right! Mom! How did you do that? There was no sign of anyone here at all. Well, she is a martial arts master. Leia, do you have any idea how worried we've been? Your father was bawling his eyes out! I, I'm sorry! Wait, please. Master Sonia, Leia was only trying to help us. Jude! Mila! You two should know better by now. If you let this child bend one rule in the morning, the world will be in chaos by noon! I... I'm sorry. I apologize. Miss Sonia, I understand your anger. But rest assured, I accept full responsibility for Leia while... That goes double for you. Keeping children well-disciplined is your duty as an adult. Y yes ma'am. Looks like all of you need a good stern lecture. Line up at attention. All right, you're dismissed. I'll let you off the hook this time. I never thought a lecture could go on this long. Personally, I found it oddly refreshing. Trust me, it's a miracle that we got off this easy. You had better believe it. But Leia, doesn't this mean you won't be able to accompany us any further? No way! I don't care how mad she gets, I'm still going with you! Leia... Well, you'd better. If you were to give up now, then you'd really be in trouble. Mom? I only scolded you because you left without telling us. <sighs> if this is what you've decided you need to do, I expect you to see it through to the end. Thanks, Mom! I will! Thank goodness. Everyone, my daughter may be a miscreant and a fool, but I'm counting on you to keep her out of trouble. Oh, Mom, don't get so sentimental. It's not like I'm getting married.
Squirmy monster we fought before? There's only one of those, right? Don't say things like that. You'll jinx us. Even great warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy.
Look at those giant ribbons! Mm. Such beautiful cloth designs. This is quite a fascinating culture. Watch your step, Elise. It's really slippery out here. Wah! You should be careful, too.
Who's a good wiper? Who's a good wiper? You there. What do you think you're doing? Those wyverns belong to our clan. We've come to take them. I'm pondering how to break the cages. W whoa! Mila! Uh, may we please borrow your wyverns? You can't be serious. Ignore these outsiders! We're running out of time to find a champion! What? It's submitted to her without the use of Beastcraft. These people might be our answer. Wait, hold on! You can't possibly be thinking of recruiting these fools! I'm Jurgen of the Katarl clan. You outsiders have arrived in Shandu at a crucial time for us. I'm sure you've noticed the crowds in the city. Once every decade, Shandu's clans hold a martial arts tournament. That tournament is tomorrow. Our chief is the clan's only fighter, but unfortunately, he is leagues away in the king's service. We're on the verge of having to forfeit the tournament. This is a desperate time for our proud and ancient clan. And yet, I sense a special power within you. Would you be willing to represent the Kataro clan as our champions? Heck yeah! Where do I sign up? Leia, he's asking all of us. Ah. <laughs> if we enter the tournament on your behalf, will you let us borrow these wyverns? That's the bargain. But you must do more than just enter. You must win. I'll need to see a demonstration of your abilities beforehand as well. We can do it, right, Mila? Yes, we need those wyverns. Awesome! I always wanted to be in a real martial arts tournament. I'm stoked! You're sure it's okay for outsiders like us to participate in the clan's tournament? That's not a problem. Some clans have been known to recruit skilled warriors from the outside to boost their prestige. Huh. I figured you folks were bigger sticklers for tradition. I'm gone five minutes and you get us neck deep in contact sports? I can't take you people anywhere. Where have you been, little buddy? We were nearly squished! Sorry about that, Spud. I had a feeling you were all in trouble, though, so I came running. No harm, no foul, right? He a friend of yours? That's right. We're a package deal. Good. Then you can show me your combat skills. Come to the aerial arena. Got it. <laughs> 